All right, how's it going? Today we're coming at you from Kodak Canal, the princess of the hill stations here in India. Now let me tell you, it's absolutely bloody freezing. It's like six degrees of summer. I've got every layer I own on, all three of them, and I'm freezing. Now we got up nice and early for the sunrise to check out a viewpoint over here, but it's shut. So we're just waiting for it to open. The sun has already come up now, but it's okay because we've got a fantastic view up here. Look at this. The sky is like orange, you can see mountains, you can see the full hilltop city. Very nice. Look at this, we've got a church over here as well. Looks like an old English church. So we're playing the waiting game until cockers walk, where they get their asses into gear and come and let us in. We could just jump over, but some jobs are full arriving and cry, won't they? So, how cold are you, Leash? So cold. <laughs> I literally got a t-shirt on, I'm freezing. <laughs> She's just on t-shirt and pants. Because oh, so we don't cold. have any cold um, weather gear. We can get some the way because we've seen a few geezers selling fleeces and like puffer coats and they're for like 200 to 400 rupees, so it's a pretty good price. So we need to get some, otherwise we're going to get ill. Right, let's go! <laughs> I'll tell you what we'll do. Maybe grab a chai because we've got a geezer here on the corner selling summer. Hello, Vanakam. Hello, sir. Good morning. Morning. Do you know what time Cocker's what? 7 30. 7 30. Oh, wow. That's like 40 minutes. Maybe we'll have a chai while we wait then. You have lemon tea? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You got a lemon tea? One lemon tea, one. You have masala chai? Yeah. Okay, one masala chai. Hey, this is a good spot, look at this. 7.30, what's that all about? That's like well late. So here he is, our mate. He's got a full basket of sugar. That is high heat, isn't it? And then he's just making a lemon tea, so he's got his fresh lemons. What else have we got? Let's have a look in here. Let's um, invade his buckets. This is the milk, the boiling milk there. And then he's got his little tea strainer there. So we'll let our mate make the tea. And in mine, I think he's gonna throw in some ginger, because he's got ginger and lemon. Hello, Vanakam. Oh, I'm saying, I can't believe that. That's 40 minutes. It's ridiculous. But why is there a gate on a viewpoint? Flipping heck. Do you know what everyone sells on, on the Cocos Walk? Bread omelettes and Maggie and Stinky Dots. Bread omelette? Yeah, so it's like an omelette that wraps a piece of bread inside the omelette. Interesting. <laughs> and Maggie instant noodles. There's your lemon tea. Thank you very much. This will warm us up more, to be fair. It smells like mint. It's got mint in it. Really? Yeah. Mint and lemon? Yeah, it's good. Oh my god, that's so good. That's really good. Oh, it's been warm right up now for about three seconds. <laughs> Oh, he's made mine now. Just getting a bit of extra tea flavour in there. Okay, Nanjan, thank you. Great, there we go. That's going to be flipping hot, isn't it? Looks good, though. Should we try it? That's very good. I don't know what he's put in there. Ginger. Tastes like something else, but either way, it's good. Oh, that's nice. Right, I guess we'll see you when the flipping viewpoint's open. Maybe we'll go back to the hotel and give you a hotel tour while we're waiting. How much, sir? 35. 35, okay. Oh, well, maybe I have some other change, yeah. Let's see. There you go, Leash. I think I've got some 10s and 20s in there. Want coffee? Coffee? Oh, no, thank you. The tea was delicious. The tea was very good. Your masala chai is very good, super. Lemon tea? Lemon tea, also very good. You put mint in it. Yeah. Yeah, it's very good. It's very cold. Lemon and mint. Lemon and mint. Yeah, it's really good. Thank you. Welcome. So you are saying if we go down here, yeah. we can get in back of Cocker's Walk? Yeah. Okay. Okay, we'll go down here. Right, cheers. Thank you. So, the hotel tour is on pause. Our mate says, the back gate opens at seven. I just had a thought. I thought, what if we go around the back? Maybe they only put a 
fence on the front, so maybe because you have to pay at the front, so we'll try and go through the back. He said it opens earlier, so let's go. Oh, mate, he's just offered us a lift. You, Coco's walk? Yeah. Oh, legend, thank you. So it's going to be a tight... Oh, I just hit my knee. Thank you so much. Very kind. What is your name? Kishakumar. What is it? Kishakumar. Kishakumar. Okay, nice to meet you. Thank okay, you so much. Go? Let's yes. go, yeah, ready. <laughs> that was extremely kind. Maybe we just saw that we were freezing our heads out. Look at that. Hanging off. It's so <laughs> cold, that wind. It is cold on the bike. Oh yeah, yeah. My foot just scraped the floor. Back. My feet are dangling. <laughs> this always happens. The kindest people offer yeah. to pick you up when you're not even asking for a lift. People always do it to us. Do we just look helpless or something? <laughs> Maybe this is the guy who um, is, uh, runs the ticket booth. Maybe. Maybe. Thank you Where very much. Where are you much. from, sir? I am from Kodekan. Oh, okay. From Mananji. Mananji. Good day. Thank, Thank you so, so much. Nice Best of luck. Absolute legend. That's so nice. Oh. oh. Day started off well. This one's shut as well, so let's just hope it opens at seven. But we've got a lot of angry dogs, for goodness sake. They're to stop us jumping over. You know before when I said jump over, don't jump over. You'll get mauled to death. Right. Things we can find while we're waiting. Check this sign out. It's a gift shop called Mummy Daddy Fancy Toys. Hmm. Suspicious. <laughs> <laughs> right, our mate here, who runs another tea shop, has told us. Oh, wow, the, the view is very nice. Nandri, thank you, wow. He told us to come down here while we wait, because it's. This gate doesn't open for another 15 minutes. The view, whoo! Sea of clouds. Look at this sneak peek here. Wow. Wow, like I said, we're at 2,200 meters, we're above the clouds, like it's, we're at proper altitude. This is such a nice view, this is well nice. How kind is that as well, if you tell us that? We just stood like one book. Just so I was waiting, didn't he? Are we allowed to come in here? Private property, is a dog gonna maul us? Wow. This is beautiful. Oh my goodness me. We are so high up. Look at these mountains. Look at the forest, the jungle, and the clouds. Like, there's just a blanket of clouds. That is a view. Oh my goodness me. Wow. This view is incredible. And this is a hotel. Imagine staying there on that balcony. And this is your view. What's that? A huge bull down there. Wow. This is funny, I'm guessing this is the hotel dog. And ever since we arrived, it's just been stood up there, looking at the view. The dog is admiring the view. This is a madness. Can you believe this is India? This is India. It's absolutely beautiful. We've got birds flying around. Other dogs coming now. Hello. How are you? Are you alright? Are you friendly, then? Huh? Yeah. yeah? Oh, you're quite nice, aren't you? Yeah? Yeah? I think it's um, maybe a hotel dog. So the sun's a bit bright, so we can't see properly here. But yeah, it's just mountains. We're so high above the clouds. There's not much more I can say, just feast your eyes on this. I mean, 
Do we need to go to Corker's Walk now? <laughs> Don't know. We'll check it out quickly anyway, but this view... I'm already happy. So happy. Very glad we came up here. <sighs> check this out. The dogs are admiring the view. Now that's funny. Look at them. They can't believe what they can see. It's now 7.22. What's the odds of Corker's Walk being open? Thank you so much, sir. The view is incredible. Wow. It's open now? Andrew. It's open. Oh, yeah, it is open. It's a miracle. So here she is. Corker's Walk. Looks very old, doesn't it? Looks all right. So I think you do actually have to pay for this. Let's see how much it is. Good morning. How are you? You have to pay, or yes. how much is? Uh, one forty. One forty for one person, two or for cameras. two. Two cameras. Seventy p each. Yeah. I've got two hundred. What do you want? Is it nice view? Yeah. Is it any nicer than the view we just seen? It's a good view. It's a good view. Thank you. I trust him. We'll okay. see. We'll judge. We'll see. Person. We'll tell you if it's worth it. We'll tell you if it's worth it. it yeah. <laughs> how much is it for Indian person? Same. same. Same, same? Yes. Are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> Promise? Sure. You are sure? Okay. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Right. Look at this. This is what we just saw, like this bull down here. The forest buffalo we just saw, one of those. Yeah, it was massive. Okay, okay thank, thank you. Thank Let's take a look. We can do it and tell you if you should do it. 70 rupees to get in. I'm sure that's more than local price, but... It is what it is. So, gotta be honest, the view is also very nice in here. It's super bright, but you can see that's where we just were down there. So, you can see all the view over here. And then we've got this little walking path with this fence. It looks very old. And you can see the left side of the valley and the city maybe at the end. So, we'll head all the way down. Oh, nice walk, nice morning walk. It's super fresh up here at this altitude. Like the air is amazing. It's a different world than down in the the flats of Tamil Nadu where it's super dusty and there's all the pollution here. It's lovely. Look at this proper nice path. So over the edge, you can see there is a bit of litter which is extremely irritating. What sort of idiot do you have to be to come somewhere like this and throw all your shit down here? Why would anyone in the right mind do that? It's beyond me. You've even got bins here, so there's no excuse. So stupid. Hello. Look how old you are. She's got white eyebrows and a white chin. Oh, oh, oh she's nice. You're old, aren't you? You're old. You feel quite soft to be fair. I know these dogs probably get, well, they've got fluff, haven't they, fur, so. Maybe they don't get too cold, but I'm talking crap anyway. The gate's shut at the end to get out, India. So we're just waiting. How about this one, people? Our dog that we've collected, our old dog, brought us over to the fence and it just sat next to the fence. And we were like, oh, should we go back or wait for the man to open it? And we could tell that the dog knew the man was coming. And she was right. We're out. Cheers. Cheers for that. Cheers for that. Have a nice day. So what we'll do now is give you a little hotel tour because it's got a really nice room. And there she is, the Hotel Swiss Cottage. Now don't be fooled from the outside, she might look a bit ropey. 
She doesn't look like luxury, does she? But we're just going ahead and show you the room. Because it's absolutely lovely. Here we go then, let's show you the room, the palace. We're in the flipping suite. Room 204. Here we go, show you what's going on. Now we're paying just over 2,000 rupees a night for this. And it's really nice. As you can see, we've got a massive bed. It's spacious. We've got a telly. I'm not going to be using that. Show you the bathroom, which is quite big. And for Indian standards, very clean. This is a decent bathroom. We've got hot water, which is crucial up here because it's so cold. If we didn't have hot water, we'd probably be dead by now. We've got a seating area, which is pretty chill. And then this is the um, star of the show. This little, what should we call it, a balcony area. We can sit out in here. And then we've just got the best view. Look at this. In the morning, the sun rises over there and it's amazing. So we can see into the city. We can see all the mountains, the hills. It's lovely. Really peaceful and quiet. You can just see the birds. It's so cold. But the, let me tell you, the value for money in Indian hotels is some of the worst we've ever seen. I don't know, you can spend like 20 quid and the hotel's just crap, dirty. It's not good, is it, Luke? It's awful. The bedding's always dirty. The pillows are horrific, like brown. It's disgusting. It's awful. So you have to pay more in India to get a nice hotel. This is a splurge for us. Over 20 quid, but it's definitely worth it. We're very happy here. So here she is. Hotel, Swiss Cottage. We're heading into Kodai now to get some breakfast. And you can see, it's a fairly quiet, chilled out mountain town. I mean, there's a few people around, but it's nothing like the bloody flats of India, is it? So let's get some breakfast in us. While we're waiting for somewhere to open to our breakfast, we've nipped into here for the second tea of the day. We've got another masala chai. Let's try that. Oh, nice and hot, it's good that, it's really good. And here we've got some legendary. We've got a flipping jam and cream sandwich. Look at this. Get a piece of this there. Look at that. I'm gonna get the middle bit. Oh, come on. Can you see that? Who would have thought? Jam and cream sandwich. Let's try it, Leash. Cheers. You know what? That's really good. That was 20 rupees, that's like a taste of home. Absolutely is, isn't it? Mm. Like a jam sandwich. Look at that. Perfect snack. This place also sells us a Indian sweet, which look really good, but in a minute, I'm going to have a big South Indian bracket. And it's going to be good. Oh, it's going to be a big day today. We're going to be eating loads of stuff on here. We've just brought in loads of fresh pastries. And some samosas here, look at them. So we'll get one of them to go with our tea as well while we wait here. We can never eat too much. Look at this. We're overlooking the Kodai Canal bus station. Which is quite organised for India. I'll be honest. He's cut it in half, Really? Oh, we got the samosa, look at that. Oh, my God, oh it's so super good. hot. It's a potato. It looks like veg as well. Like spiced potato. It smells. Some peas. It smells good. So he's literally just brought them in fresh, super hot. Look at it. Look at steam coming off it. You going for it? Give you the big one. Too hot. <laughs> it's steaming glasses up. I'm going to pass on that one. Is it good though? It's really good. I can't feel my mouth now. So you can see he's done his little cross section. Look at that. I'm going to wait. Look at that. We'll try this some more then. It's cooled down a little bit now. Filling looks well good. Very good. Very good. Very tasty. Nice and spiced that. It's actually got a kick to it, yeah. 
looks fantastic. Mm. Fresh as they get. Okay. I just told her. 70. So that was 70 for everything. Not bad at all, that. Cheers, Andrew. Not bad at all. Now, what we're going to do is try and get Brecky in a spot just down here. Here we go. This is the spot. Tanga Tamilam restaurant. It's busy, yeah? Look at that. We've got a dorsa on the grill. Looking good. Let's sit in the corner. Eh? Hello. <laughs> It's a tight one. Yeah. Andrew. Great. Here we go, some food arrived. This is a proper good little South Indian spot. What have we got? We've just got a plain dosa. No, I asked for a masala dosa, but maybe things have got lost in translation. It's alright. So we've got a plain dosa. And we've got some bad eye that you can see there. Look at those. We've got some dal on the table. And then we're going to get some chutneys and whatnot. Yeah. Ooh, I do really like South Indian food, I've got to be honest. Let's just try this dosa on its own first. But it's really good, it's a really good crispy dosa. It tastes good. Mm. Is it the gig? It just makes everything taste good. Really fresh. Like, on its own without any chutneys or anything, it tastes good, so. Mm. We're getting our chutneys now, Andrew. So here, we've got the coriander chutney. Look at this. How good does that look? Let's get a load of that on here. And then we've also got doll, I think. Let's get a bit of doll on the plate. There we go. And then we've got our vada as well. So what I'm going to do is just try that. Let's put it down here. Rip a bit of that off. And we'll try this coriander chutney for that. Absolute star of the show. That is amazing. So fresh, spicy. It's really good. How's the doll looking? The doll looks really good because it's really fresh. You can literally see a maybe there's two minutes to go. She was just putting all the lentils into the pan. Really, really good. I can see steam going on. So, let's try the doll myself, eh? Whip some of our. Dorsa. Let's get some of this nice soft corner. And then go for it. Again, very good. Mm, really fresh. Fantastic. What we're going to do is flood this vada with the doll. There we go, look at that. How about that? Oh yeah. So Alicia's got a butter pan coming, I think. And we don't quite know what that is, we've never had it before, but we're going to find out. I think it's similar to all the other breakfast items, but we're going to discover and investigate. Mm. Usually I've got some chutney out. I don't think they've made it yet. They're super busy. It's hectic in here. Yeah, but it is very, very good. The people are very nice. Proper own cook here. And the guy's funny, I'll show you him on the way out. It looks like a 70s porn star. You know, Brendan, you ask the coconut chutney if she's making it fresh. She's making fresh coconut chutney. If she does, I'll have to order something else to go with it. Let's try this vada anyway while we're here. Sticky vada. Oh, yeah. Covered in the dark. It's messy, but it's good. Oh yeah, there's peppercorns in there. That's great. So I think Auntie is actually making us some fresh coconut chutney. Which if she is, is incredible. Can't wait for that. Leash finally got the butter pan. And it's very interesting. It's like a dosa, but with a thicker batter. Yeah, it's, it's spongier than a dosa too. 
So yeah, it's definitely a lot thicker. Let's try it. Let's go try it on its own. So it's interesting, it's thicker, it's more cakey, whereas the dorsal is like, you know, thin and crispy. It just tastes more filling. Oh, and she's got some, this dog, sambar, sambar. Very hot. <laughs> So we got some fresh sambar poured over that as well. Oh, I can't even it. watch it. It's literally feel all of the steam. Oh my gosh, that it's is so red. fresh. Oh. That's good though, that. I'm going to have to finish off your lips. The sambar, eh? Really oh, that's fresh. Mm. That's delicious. Oh, that's really good. Mm. Mm. Yeah, she's made coconut chutney. I've just seen a taste it. Seeing if it's good enough. Excited. Oh. This coconut. Co coconut chutney. Mm. Roman Andrew. Thank you very much. She is the boss. She's the mother, isn't she? So there we go, coconut chutney, fresh, literally just been blended right behind us in the shop. Let's try that with some Nevada. Oh, you know I like it. It's very, very good. I'm into it. She was telling me that I gave him some more. <laughs> there we go. Top breakfast is. So this is a little bonus clip that I'm going to have to throw in the video. Here we got some pongal, which is what we tried to get, but they didn't have. So here we go, look at that. Now there's all kinds in it. There's rice, dal, peppercorns, cumin, curry leaves, a lot of mad stuff. And then we've got the dal. Oh no, don't worry, it's okay. And then we've got the, um, hello, how are you? Then we've got the coconut chutney, coriander chutney and dal. And it's super fresh, it's like steaming out of that. So let's just try some. I couldn't not throw this in because this place is really good. I really like these people. Really nice family. I'll try and pick some up. It's so hot. There's full peppercorns in there that you can see. Yeah, curry leaves, peppercorns. Oh, it's hot. So here we go, let's try it. So the chutneys. So good, honestly, when you get a bite on a full peppercorn. Peppercorns are so good here. And the chutneys are fantastic. And this place does the chutneys just right. It's really good. So there we go, I had to throw this in. Pongal, an absolute classic dish from down here. In this region of India. So now we'll go back to where we were in the video. You can see, it's super busy, proper happy on at the spot. And it's really good to be fair. So we'll see how much this is. We actually had quite a bit of food though, by accident. Quite full. So there you go, another door. So is that another top arm on the grill? Let's go. Hello, Monica. So we'll see how much it is, eh? It's always heaving. Um, how much, sir? Four vada, yes. Four sixty. Oh, do you have change, eh? I've got one twenty, one forty. Do you have a twenty? Okay. Sorry. Thank you so much. I like your hair. Your hair. I like it. It's very good. It's good. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> See what I mean about his hair? Straight out of flipping 1970s adult movie. He is. I'm telling you. He's proper nice geezer though. The family are all really nice. Really lovely family. Mm. I've actually been there before on like the first day we came. And they're proper nice, but they were just too busy, so we couldn't have a bit of a chin wag, couldn't have a chat. So now let's have a sit down. Maybe we'll explore a bit of town. 
There's some cheese we can get, some chocolate, there's a few things we can do, so we'll um, take you about with us. And this bit thinks a piss. I think everyone has a wee here. Not that you need to know that, but this is definitely the public toilet. This street. I've just realised that food cost 160 for everything, which is well good. That's really good and it was really delicious, so couldn't be happy with that. So we've nipped back to the hotel room for a bit of a lie down, chill out before we head out again. And I mean, do you blame us? It's hard not to spend your whole day in here when you have that view. I'm not gonna lie. Look at that, best view in town. So, you'll see us soon. We'll head into Kodak Canal and see what's going on. Not bad, eh? We're gonna head into Kodak now and check it out. We were gonna walk this way, which I think goes through the park, but I've just seen, you have to pay to walk through the park, which is bizarre. So it says it's 30 rupees, I don't know how much it is for a foreigner, and then it says iPad, camera, video, camera, an extra quid. I can't be asked with that, I'm not paying to walk through a flipping park. We'll just double check and then if you do, we'll have to go around to Lake. But yeah, you've got to pay to go in the public park, what's that all about? Get it, Ben. Here's your park, you can see through the fence, I'll stick you through, can you see? It's just a little park. Some grass. Like flipping Whitton Park in Blackburn. Pay £1.50 to go in the park. Right, I'm absolutely seething. Oh, unreal. Sort it out. Go to our council. What are you playing at? So we're going to check out the lake, which I think is over there somewhere. Just walking through this little field area. We've got a lot of cows. All right, pal. Nicely painted for the Pongal Festival. Just having a munch. Nice cow. So let's check the lake out, eh? There's a big lake bang in the middle of Kodai City. So we're definitely close. We're definitely close because it's absolutely heaving. All the Indian tourists are everywhere. There's food everywhere, coins, whatnot. The quintessential Indian tourist attraction of horses to ride. That is a big horse, I'm going to stay away from that. Hey, all right. So it's got to be down here, right? So Kodak Canal is a very big tourist place, but oh, I've just been shit on, have I? Was it a, I think it was a leaf or something. It's a very big tourist destination, but I think it's predominantly local tourists, Indian tourists. And are you actually telling me I have to pay to look at this lake or what? Or is that just to go on the boats? Maybe we can just walk around. I think we have to go around the other side. Goodness me, it's not easy, is it? Yeah, I think more predominantly Indian tourists come here. And it's really nice, to be fair. There's your quick glimpse. We'll see if we can walk around. I'll be honest with you, the lakeside is like a flipping tourist hell. It's like a Disneyland. I don't like it. But you can see the lake is quite nice. So this is Kodai Lake, a man-made lake. And you can see the mountains around it, the hills. It is quite nice. So we'll walk around. There's a cheese shop somewhere selling proper cheese, which would be good, wouldn't it? Get some proper cheese. Don't find that in many places in Asia. Let's have a look. We found the greatest food stand here in Kodai Canal. Gypsy food. Selling a bit of pasta, some butties. Some toast. Is that cheese on toast? I don't know. Right, we've got coins. Everyone's selling coins and they, they're massive, them coins. Hello. They, um, do they look good if you want a coin? No, thank you. And everyone's saying chat. But we've had one of them and it wasn't very good. So it's not really, um, I'd rather eat some proper food. You can rent bicycles. 50 for half an hour. 50p for half an hour. But everyone's just out on the pedalos. Look at these, they're just like, where have they got these from? Flipping hell. So easy. Yeah. Where have they got them? Everyone's on pedalos. It's a thing to do. <laughs> this man's, um, he's either doing a bit of fishing or cleaning the shit out. Because this, again, 
Why would anyone ever come somewhere like this and throw litter into the lake? You have to be brain dead to do something like that. It's beyond me. He's fishing. He's hand fishing just by the side. Brain dead idiots. All over the world. Fuck you. Hey up, here we go. What is this? We found an e-toilet. It says, finally a toilet you can always count on to be clean. It uses rapid clean technology to clean it. Well, it smells. What is this? What is this? What have we got here? Do you have to pay to open this? Oh my God, does it even tell you how much to put in? I don't think I'm gonna go in, everyone. Not working? Yeah. No. E toilet. Yes, yes. Um, it's, it's so much of uh, old damages. Old. Yeah. But it's a good toilet. You want to go one or two? No, I, I was just looking because um, e, you, e toilet. You want to go you in our uh, toilet? Um, I don't need the toilet. I was just looking. Oh, <laughs> Cheers. No, no, no. <laughs> I don't need a poo. Oh, oh, yeah, well. <laughs> you need to go one or two, he said. It's not working, the e toilet. Flipping hell, some e toilet. That was a letdown, weren't it? I tried to show you some of the sights and sounds. Hey, 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 look at this. It's well nice. I like that green colour. Sick. Oh, the fleece man isn't here. We wanted to buy a fleece for leash. We'll have to come back later when it's dark. You can see he leaves his words out all day. Under here. We've just got fleeces and um, puffer jackets. I have to come back. Look at this, it looks like England, doesn't it? All grey. So what about, what time is it, let's see. Like 2 p.m. ish. The clouds come up and like the whole city, Kodai gets kind of like engulfed in fog, cloud. You'll see. We've even got the dominoes. But yeah, who's eating there? Shite. But here's what we're after, the Kodai cheese shop. So when we cross the road, we're going to check out this shop. Just obviously, a bit of traffic. I mean, you can go to the most peaceful place ever in India. You're still going to run into a traffic jam every now and then. Here she is, Kodai cheese. After you, Leash. We'll see what cheese is all about here then. Some Indian cheese. It's busy. Oh, it's busy, yeah. Hello, how are you? Very good. It's very hot in here. Yeah. <laughs> right, so, you can see we've got another foreigner in here. He knows what's up, getting on that cheese fix. You know, you can't get cheese on this side of the world, or good cheese. So what have we got? Paneer. Cheddar, I think we're gonna have to get a cheddar, you know. Red chili cheddar, enriched with probiotics. That'll save you. They do butter, they sell ghee, like pure ghee, look at that. Ghee in India, it's good for you. Garlic and pepper spreadable cheese. I'm not a spreadable cheese, man. We like a, we like a block cheese, don't we? Cheese heaven, what's this? Sharp Colby cheese. Oh, Edam. What's that? 400 rupees. So it's like four quid for a big block. Let's wait until it's quiet and we'll ask what we should make. Hello, how are you? Um, what do you recommend? Uh, uh, basically, we have a natural cheese, more no preservative handmade cheeses. We are making 46 year of cheeses. Okay. It's uh, 50 years old. 50 years old? Yeah. Oh, wow. This is 1973. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of varieties. Mm. We like a goat cheese. Yeah, we like all cheese. Anything, anything which uh, yeah. is with the herbs. We are most popular. Okay. okay. Cambry. What's this? Cam Cambry. Do you soft cheese made with crackers? Do you have samples? Oh no, it's just. So let's put it on the right now. Cheering me. Wonder if you can try it. Ah, cheering me. Well, like, any samples of just like the classic, like the what is this one? Take a goat cheese. With goat goat cheese. cheese. Yeah. Tell me. Oh, oh, thank you. Very that much. smells good. Nowadays, most selling cheese. It's very good. Yeah. 
Very rich, when you've not eaten cheese in so long, it's like, <coughs> it's very good. Yeah, it's a type of herbs, like uh, basil, rosemary, mm. parsley, thyme. We've not eaten cheese in so long. Yeah. It feels good to eat cheese again. It's really strong. Wine, pinks, crackers, mm -hmm. everything. Eat some crackers. Do you just have a... Um, and uh, another is big of a smoked cheese. Smoked cheese? Yeah. This is smoked? Let's eat it. Yeah. Call I smoke cheese. Mm. What's that like a smoked cheddar or something? Or what? Let's try it and find out. Smoked mozzarella. We need to be careful because we might end up buying like. Well, we'll just get one. Just get one. Get one cheese. That one was good though. Because we're not going to eat it. It's really good, Dad. This is 500 rupees. I'll let you have any of the classic cheddar to try. No, I haven't. Cheddar. It's just a classic. Uh, do you like a spicy one? Yeah, yeah. Tea? Oh, yeah, let's try that one. Yeah. This one's chilly. Oh, that one's really good. Well, the cheese is so good. That is really good. That is really good. I don't know which one I want. Well, the goat one was really good. Yeah, it was. And I'm thinking if we get some crackers or something, that'll be really good to spread on crackers, won't it? Well, the smoke cheese. With Basil, do you want to try? Oh, Basil or pepper? Oh, yes, please. That'd be good. Yeah. Can we try it? Yeah. It's, it's quite mild, that cheddar, isn't it? Yeah. No, it's just a classic cheddar. Cheddar's just like classic, like hard cheese, mild, but it's, it's always good. Cheddar cheese is just good, innit? They sell feta as well. They sell everything. They've, they've got you covered. They've even got like a cheese box if you want a bit of a selection. You know, you want to yeah, have a bottle, that, you want have a bottle of wine or something. How much is that, the big box? Thousand, by, uh, thousand rupees. Thousand rupees. Like blue cheese, yeah. mm -hmm. Cambry, oh. and American cheddar, and parmesan, and smoked oh. cheese. Oh. Like so that's a ten of that box. Yeah. And you get some proper stinky blue cheese yeah. in it. This. Thank you, sir. Tell me about the flavor. That's good. They're all very good. Puzzle. What is it? I don't know what it was. Yeah? Basil. Basil. Yeah. Oh, really what do we do? So, the Kolar cheese has the claim of India's oldest third generation. Oh. Yeah, it started in 1972, 50 years old, the company. Okay. Outlet, yeah. outlet. That's top stuff then, yeah. We're in safe hands, everyone. I think we should get the goat. Let's it's it. the most expensive, it's 500. It's the best, though. It was so but it good. is good. Should we get the smallest one? Yeah, just 200. 500 rupees. It's yeah. a fiver. Yeah, let's do it. And then we'll get a We're not going to eat cheese in so long, so. Yeah. Okay, we'll take this one, sir. Yeah. Go on then. That's a good deal, though, this box, you know. It's a thousand rupees and you get all those cheeses, but there's a lot of cheese and we probably won't eat it. We'll just eat that much cheese in two days after We'll two probably be sick because we're not eating no cheese in so long. Okay, we'll just get this. What's your favourite cheese? Goat cheese with herbs. This oh. Cambry. Cambry. Yeah. Cambry soft cheese. Mm -hmm. yeah. And this is smoked cheese. This is and flavoured cheese. You like all the flavoured ones. And also we have uh, these are all mature cheeses, one year old cheeses. Oh, but American sure. cheddar, one year old, called B sharp, called B. Mm -hmm. And this is Edam cheese with pineapple and cherry. Oh, okay. Wow, that and sounds fantastic. Yeah, no. Gouda. Gouda. Gouda, yeah. Yeah, Gouda, it's basically Dutch one cheese. Mm -hmm. One year old cheese. Yeah. Do you have any of the pineapple one just to try or no? Do you eat them? I think we don't have oh, all these flavours. It's okay, don't worry, it's alright. It's okay, we'll just Maybe take this. No worries. Okay. So we've got some cheese. Now let's head next door and get some chocolate. <laughs> Perfect. Comes in a nice big bag. Thank you so Thank much, you. sir. Have a lovely day. Thank you very much. Thank you, man. Cheers. Have a nice day. You too. Bye bye. Bye. I'm happy with that. That was really good. That cheese is really good, we just got. As soon as I ate that, I was like, oh, yeah. That's good, yeah? So we've got our cheese. Now, Kodai is also very well known for making chocolate, proper chocolate. Hello, how are you? Well, 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 how are you? <laughs> very good. We've come for some chocolate. <laughs> Cheese, chocolate, here we go. Happy Thank you. 
So there's loads of different shops, but this guy's really nice. They're very good. So they do all this chocolate in their cabinet, which is like not the best quality, but they've got, you know, like fillings in, like fruit fillings and stuff, but then they also make proper chocolate. So like signature, milk chocolate, mm -hmm. dark chocolate with almonds, and then 50% dark with hazelnut. So that's the darkest one, that's 70% dark. And they do white chocolate. Ooh. And they do coated nuts. And like Leash just said, yeah, in the back, they've got all the pure chocolate going through that machine. Oh, that looks good. It's like a chocolate fountain. <laughs> right. I think we should go for milk chocolate today. Classic, just yeah. proper chocolate. Yeah, I think we should. Maybe a tiny bit of dark. Get 250 pounds. Tiny bit of white, just to try. Let's get this. Yeah. All right, welcome back. Thank you so much. Yes, sir. It's looking more than here. <laughs> <laughs> it's because of the mission is yeah. yeah. So I think today we're going to get just some, a mix of the classics, you know, the good stuff. Okay, so what is the quantity you want? I think we want um, 250. Yeah, but what should we do? Should we get, because we can't get 250 of each. No, no, we'll just get milk about And then just ask if we can throw a piece yeah, in there. Yeah, we'll try Is there any chance we can just get 250 of the milk chocolate? Okay. But then can we get like a, a tiny, tiny bit of the darks just to try? Or like throw you in? just want to try it and give it as a personal That would be really kind. I like it. You can't go wrong milk chocolate though, can you? But you can see he's got these huge bars of dark chocolate. Look at that. Oh, perfect. It's 70% dark with almonds, 50% dark with hazelnut. Okay, thank you so much. Do you want the 50? Yeah. Because I had that one yesterday, didn't I? Oh, it's so good. Yesterday we tried these ones. You can taste mm. the difference. Yeah. Like, these are okay, but this is that is. Yeah. 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 You haven't tried the seven day, I'll give you seven. I'll kid you not, this chocolate, right? It's good, yeah. It's proper chocolate, it's right? Oh, thank you so much. Well, you do taste proper chocolate, especially with the high cocoa content. It tastes so good. It's really good. The seven is really good. It's a world mm. apart from that. Like, so, you want to some of the stuff in England? Yeah, please. Yes, please. It's like some of the crappy chocolate you buy in the shop in England, just like sugar in it, but dark chocolate is where it's at. I know we're getting milk chocolate, but... Dark chocolate is really So the dark, the darkest one is 1,800 rupees a kilogram, 18 quid. And the milk is 12 quid, 1,200. You get, you do, you just get what you pay for. You can't expect to pay pennies and get top quality. It's, that's not how life works. Interesting as well because all the other chocolate shops that we've been in, mm -hmm. we haven't seen them actually make the chocolate in the pack. No. So that is a, a point. Mm. There's so many chocolate shops in Kodaka now. A lot of them don't look very good. I mean, it been to a few others. What is this? Like coffee. Oh, coffee bean. Oh, thank you thank so you. much. The coffee bean coated in chocolate. Oh, now, this really right, is one of my favourite things in the world. They're really good. Oh, how much are there? That's <laughs> 1,800 a kilo. Oh. You want a small quantity? Can we, like, just, can we just get a tiny bit? Like, like 100 grams, 150 grams? Probably just like 100 grams. Yes. That would be like 180 rupees, won't it? <coughs> because honestly, how good are they? The coffee beans are really good. You caught a coffee bean in chocolate, you've just made the best snack in the planet. Yeah. So, what we're saying then, I was saying there's so many chocolate shops, yeah. but a lot of them. Okay. And they don't need to see the process. They can't anymore. see this because this shop has an open window so you can see everything they're doing at all times. You can see the process, you know what I mean? They're not hiding anything, it's clean. It's a proper little workshop. So this place is called Melty's Hot Chocolate and the owner is absolutely lovely. Oh, it sells hot chocolate, it's called Melty's Chocolate. Very sorry about that, yeah. <laughs> the shop is called Melty's <laughs> Chocolate Factory. So I'll probably throw it in the description, I always do when we go to these businesses. Because I like to spot these people. So you know where yeah. like the, the good stuff is. But they sell hot chocolate, that's why I was showing you that slide. <laughs> I got a bit confused. You wanna have the hot chocolate? Not today, thank you. We just bought some cheese, we went next door. Okay. We got some goat cheese. If I have hot chocolate and cheese, I'm going to be sick. 
Yeah, we haven't eaten like cheese, chocolate, and milk. in like so so over long. Over a year, over a year, because we don't eat dirt. Like we've been to countries that don't really have dirt, right? Eh? Okay. So, so it'll be a shock. <laughs> <laughs> and your name is Azar. Yes. I remembered. This is, this is Maldives. That, that's the quarter kilo of the signature mm -hmm. chocolate. I'm just the hundred gram. Okay. Thank you very much. Anything else? No, that's it. Thank you. How much is that? It's five hundred. Yeah, it's okay. And we have right now we have seventy percent dark in a molten form. If you like to have. Oh, like a pot of melted chocolate. Yeah. Wow, that would be oh, intense. Wow. <laughs> like a like shot. Have, yeah. It's like a, this big. How you much is be, it? Uh, one hundred and sixty. How much have I spent now? Just as much. So, <laughs> you don't have to miss that. I mean, we're only here once. <laughs> Uh, I bet it's good for that. Mm -hmm. Just do 150 for that. 150 plus 480. For 630, including that. Sure. Do you want to do it? Do you want to do it? Yeah. Okay, go on. Why not? Yeah. You're a good salesman. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. That's chocolate. We've got chocolate, man. Yeah. Six quid chocolate hole. But like I say, like, we're not going to get cheese in a while. You're not going to get good chocolate in a while. So when we get it, let's embrace it. It's hard to get in this part of the world. Oh, gosh. Here we go. Wow, that looks so good. Is this is just molten dark chocolate. More than 70% dark chocolate. 70%, wow. Look at that, it's hot. Oh, gosh, this is... um. Decadent, yeah, as you would say. <laughs> look at that. Wow, look at this. Let's give it a proper. Um... Oh, yeah. How do we eat this, Luke? Go for a small. We go first, it's going to go everywhere. This is going to be messy, it's going to go in my beard, isn't it? <laughs> oh, gosh. There's no um, nice way to do this. You got the chocolate tash. <laughs> I don't care about my chocolate tash, that's <laughs> so good, that's like... Oh, it's wow. like pure. Mm. You. We need to just drink, we just need to drink that. Like, like a drink. So good. Let's have a shot of it. That was really good. Thank you. I actually need to get the spoons leash. What do you want me to do? I'm just going to drink it. Can we hold the spoon? Should I? Should I take the microphone? Yeah, yeah, don't worry. You can't take the spoons because they'll go oh everywhere. Gosh, that's actually you have right. to just hold the spoons. So, gosh, I don't want to drop it. There's only one thing to do with this. <laughs> that's so good. <laughs> I was about to say it's one of the greatest drinks I've ever drank. It's not really a drink, but that's live. Intense. That is fantastic. Thank you so thank much. You so thank much. You. It's so thank good. You. Thank you. It's messy, though. <laughs> it's messy. <laughs> it is messy. You can just drink it. It's like mangoes. If you eat mangoes, it should be messy. Mm -hmm. Same as should be chocolate. Oh, yeah. <laughs> How good is that? It's so rich. Gosh. I need a drink after that, it's like stuck in my throat. Oh, it's, it's like, yeah, it's kind of already going to drop Wow. Oh it's nice. <laughs> Not, <laughs> Not every day. <laughs> Not every day. <laughs> the 70% is going to give you like a heat, heat up. So. Mm. Heat, long, heat up? It will heat you up. Your blood will be controlled, your blood pressure will be controlled. It's very healthy chocolate. Oh, perfect, yeah. Dark chocolate is the healthiest, isn't it? Yes, it is. Healthiest kind of chocolate. That's why I'm telling myself anyway. <laughs> that was good. Thank you very much. This is after tempering. It's very beautiful. Just bite. That's what I'm doing, Sam. The sound is good. Makes it crud like. Yeah, that's what I'm doing, Sam. We're learning all about chocolate in here now. It's smoother. Yeah, I'm not just with that. Wow. Yeah, it's completely different. I don't quite understand. <laughs> but I believe everything you say, <laughs> and it tastes very good, so that's all that matters. It's the same chocolate with almonds, which you taste yeah. it. Yeah, because she's the shining so, on that. Yeah, it's because of tempering on the chocolate. Yeah. 
We're going to have an art attack today. I know. <laughs> it's worth it though. <laughs> Got the cheese as well, don't forget the cheese. Okay. Is that everything? <laughs> yeah, okay. Thank, thank you, so my much. friend. Pleasure thank having you having so much. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Best of luck with everything. Thank, thank you so much. So much. Bye, bye. bye bye. See you in a bit. So this is 100% where you want to buy a shocky in Kodak Canal. Melties. Look, the finest. Oh, they're really nice though, really friendly. You get what you pay for. How much is it? I don't know. Should we Should have a look? Yeah. Hello, Vanacom. You have eucalyptus? Yes, sir. Let's take a bottle. look. Oh, you have very small bottle? Yes, sir. Just because we fly a lot of carry on luggage. Still quite big, though, isn't it? 180 rupees. Is this the smallest you have? No, this is smallest. It's the smallest. Do you think? It's really good to be though. It's cool, it's quite big, isn't it? But I could decant it into a smaller bottle after we've used it, I guess. Yeah, I guess. What do you think? It is from here. From here? From Kodak Canal? Local. Yeah. Local eucalyptus oil. So they've got a lot of stuff around. Look at the video. It's for YouTube. YouTube. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> is that okay? Is that okay? This can I have this one, sir? How many Just one. Please. Only one. What are you going to do with the eucalyptus oil, Luke? I'm going to inhale it, I'm going to bathe in it. You're going to drink it? Any other oil, anything you want? No, that's, no, that's it, it, I think. Thank you. I just came for this one, especially. <laughs> Thank you. We've got chocolate, cheese and eucalyptus oil. Yeah, the three things I should buy here. So we have everything. We've completed Kodak now. <laughs> Let me tell you, that chocolate bottle, is that rich, right? It's that good, but it's like coated my throat in throat and chocolate. And then you drink. Like, instant life, just the heartburn. 180 rupees. Yes. Thank, Thank you, you, sir. Nandri. So they also sell all kinds of other mad oils. We've got peppermint oil, rapeseed oil, basil oil. Any oil you can think of, you tell me they've got it. Carrot oil. I think we should do a smell test. Turmeric oil. Go on, let's do that. Oh, it smells very nice. Oh, it does smell very good. Oh, it smells well good. You know what it smells like? It doesn't smell like... Sometimes you can get oils, especially like these tiny little glass bottles, like where we're from. It just tastes like, like artificial rubbish. But that tastes really natural. It smells really Go on, have a sip of it. Should we see what it tastes like? Imagine the man's face. <laughs> have a shot of oil, eh? Well, let's clear off. Goodbye, sir. Thank you, bye-bye. Right, there we go. Look. We've done it all. Cheese, oil, chocolate. What do we do now? What do we do now? I don't know. Oh, a fleece. Oh yeah, we need to get a fleece. Maybe some food after. So although the clouds are here in the afternoon, you can kind of get a glimpse through the clouds. Yeah, you occasionally get a break. The climate's nice a bit. In the day, it's really nice and um, sunny when the sun does come out. But then at night time it's ruthless, it's freezing. But yeah, we got our cheese. There's a wine shop, look at this. The Tasmac Wine Shop, which looks like the dingiest hole in the wall you have ever seen. And if I can cross the road, I just want to show you the alleyway. If I can cross the road, flipping hell. So every time you want to cross the road, all the traffic appears. Every single time, it's just how life works. Oh, and then a car will just stop right in front of exactly, this is just life, isn't it? Fuck me. I just want to show you a fucking alleyway and I can't even do that. So down here, I think is a little drinking spot down this alleyway. Which looks a bit dodgy, doesn't it? Oh dear, let's get the hell out of here. So like I was saying, in the afternoon the clouds just roll in. Look, your view is gone. We are now in the clouds, look at this. You can see it's like thick fog coming in passing through us look you've got absolutely no view you can't see anything I'm just going to show you the view quick because it's fully just clouded over you can see we are up in the clouds they come in they come out and yeah nice and cool cool breeze it's like it's going to rain now Oh, 
RE back in town now. And you can see, it does get a little busy. I mean, not super busy, but... You know, it's not super chilled out. But it's a town centre, it's going to be. I'm talking rubbish. They've come for some food. But you can see it's quite green, the town. Look, we've got trees everywhere. That's a big tree. I'm talking rubbish. Again. So we're going to come in here. If it's open, get some North Indian food. You are open? Closed. Oh. That's not good. That's, um... Um, Half an hour. Okay. They're opening half an hour, so maybe we'll stay true and we'll wait. Because we've not had any North Indian food yet in this um, video series, so maybe we should do that. Or maybe we'll be fat and get two teas. We'll get some North Indian food and we'll get something else. There's a lot of Tibetan restaurants in Kodak Canal. So maybe we we'll get some momos. That sounds good, doesn't it? Let's be fat. Here she is, Tibetan kitchen restaurant. This'll do. Let's get some more mortars. Great. Starving. And it's freezing. Right, we've ordered some chicken fried mormons. But while we wait, we've got this drink. So this is a golly soda. We've seen these knocking around. It's a weird drink that comes with like a bowl in the top. And you have to hit it down. And you can see it's floating about in there. I think this is blue raspberry or something. Blue, I don't know. So we'll try it. We'll just put some of this ice in this glass and hope um, God is watching over us on this fine day. Let's try it. So yeah, it's got a bowl in there. It's really weird, which kind of like stops it pouring properly. You can see there now it's like like a marble. Mm -hmm. There we go. Look at the colour of that. That is a. <coughs> Not good for you. It smells good though. It's messy. It looks like antifreeze. Yep. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Too far, it's very good, but it's very sweet. That's my type of drink. Whatever this flavour is, it's always one of our favourites. It's so artificial, it's untrue, but. And the Momo's here. Oh, thank you. So here we go, everyone. Look at this. Oh, I think these are like. 180 rupees, I can't remember, for 10. That is a hefty portion of it, look at that. They look so good. So, we've got our little side plate here, and what we'll do is get some of these sauces. So we've got a proper Tibetan homemade chilli oil, which, if you know me, proper chilli oil is one of the greatest things ever, so let's get a load of this on the plate. So good. Look at that. And then we've also got this one, which is like another chilli sauce, but like a fresher one. Can you see that? So we'll get a load of that as well. There you go. We're ready. Let's try them. Right, look at that. That is a plate a beauty. They look so good. I'm glad we got the fried ones. You can also get steamed, but... It's a freezing cold day. What is better than food like this? It's comforting. So there we go. What should we go for? Should we go for the heavy chilli oil first? I'm going to have to use a spoon here. Yeah. Scoop it on. Oh. Technical difficulties. Right, there we go. Covered in that chilli oil. Beautiful. Cheers. Outside's nice and crispy, fried, not too oily, but the inside's super juicy. The chicken's well done. And it's proper tasty. It's got, I don't know what's in there. Mm -hmm. Whatever they minced the minced chicken with. It's good. Thank you. can see inside there we've got the minced chicken, then some herbs. And this time we'll try the fresh chili. Fantastic. A little bit sparser. 
something super fresh tasting. Which is like perfect for the fried mormon. Any food like this makes me a happy man. Dumplings, mormons, whatever. Like any dumpling variety in anywhere in the world. Got a place on my heart. So I really like vinegar and like sour stuff, so I've got some like vinegar chilies. So I like to eat them with that. Also I like the fresh chili better. <coughs> Let's go. They're so big as well. So filling. Well it's not enough on there, is it? <laughs> I like to put the vinegar on it. Juicer. It's so good. Proper comfort food, isn't it? Mm. It's delicious. It's exactly what you want in the freezing cold weather oh. in the mountains, you know, 2,200 meters above sea level. This is what you want. Oh, okay, that's Mountain food. Yeah. The chilo is so good. Right. But it is very heavy, like, it's the opposite of this. This is fresh and spicy. Okay, this is like just heavy, oily. Right. The type that you eat, you eat a lot of yes, yes, taste yes. amazing, but it's good to stomach. Ain't too happy. <laughs> I want, I want talking from experience there. Fantastic. Fantastic stuff. It's raining. Oh my gosh. Drizzling a bit. I couldn't think of a better food to have, genuinely. I've said it before, in this weather, than what we just had. Yeah, there's quite a few Tibetan restaurants here. There's quite a few Tibetan people who've settled here. So that's cool. Interesting place to bet, isn't it? I'd like to go. On we go. Oh, here we go. Look at this. We've actually got some bananas for you. Oh, that's really yummy. Delicious, that. Oh, I'd stroke you, but I need to eat with that hand. Is it good? This isn't food, this is a camera, but. Oh, it's yummy. I mean, you should have peeled it for her. No, she, she eats it all. No, oh, she might have liked it more peeled. Anything else from the shop? I've actually got three more behind my back. Do you want another one? No, that's worse. <laughs> Shall I give it another one? Yeah, go on. One more then, just because you're quite cute. <laughs> oh, there we go. On your way. Bye. Anyway. There she is. Right, here they are. The blokes at the side of the road with the fleeces and the coats. The second hand tackle. Hello, sir. Hello. How much are your fleeces? This 150. This 350. 350, 150. Yeah. 150, that's not bad, is it, for a second hand fleece to keep you warm? It's like just over a quid. I want black, really. They're just like charity fleeces, so they're probably just sent over from like Western countries, aren't they? Let's see. Get a big baggy fleece here, £1.50. Might be too big that one. Massive. It's a bit too big, I think. Look at the arms. Maybe it has a little bit smaller. That's like a flannel. That is very heavy. Oh, no cardigans. Cardigans should have been destroyed a long time ago. Cardigans are the worst garment on earth. Who's this? Or eat best? Roll it up. It's okay. You have a little bit smaller or not? Is it too big? It's a bit big, yeah, it's thin. Yeah, it's a bit big, it's like a long coat. We'll do a route through. What do you think? Does it fit? Or is it a bit short on the arms? Do you like it? It looks a bit scraggly. It's got a bit of a poo stain on the yeah, pocket. Yeah, no, that's why I thought the black one. Yeah. A bit too big. To I don't know. Well, uh, where do you get these from, sir? Well, uh, where from? It's coming near, uh, you know, Bodhi. Where? Bodhi. 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 India. Yeah, yeah Tamil Nadu. Oh, Tamil Nadu. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's a second hand. Yeah. And they come. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, sir. 
so at least she's being a fussy git oh, and not paying one pound for a fleece. No, no, so. no, it was a bit big and then the other one did have a poo stain on. Right, there we go. What do you think? There's one here. Oh, yeah, there's another man to be fair. <laughs> right, I'm going to cut back when we find one. It's 100. How is that? 100. Oh, very good, very good. So what I mean here has got another pile of fleeces and these are all 100, which is fantastic. We, we've been so cold, it's so cold. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you, bye. 100? Sure was it? Not bad, is it, to be fair? It's, it's a cheap place for 100. It's got a pocket here. It's all right, that. I'm happy with it. Keeps me warm, that's the main thing. Oh, slurpy. <laughs> oh, she likes me. Oh, no. She's got a massive head. You've got some, you've got some um, coriander on the side of your Oh! <laughs> a breath does stink. Oh, gosh. Bloody hell. So what have we got here? What is this fleece? LL Bean. I mean, it's not too shabby, is it? I mean, we've got zips on both watching on this man with telly on it. Bloody hell, TV. New TV. It just needs a wash, doesn't it? <laughs> some zips. We've got a chest pocket. All for the price of 100 rupees. I mean, I went to put my hand in my pocket and I don't know whether it's like chewing gum oh, or wow. something that's stuck together. No, it's pocket. just a label. Don't worry. Not bad, £1. I'm just going to say, can we really appreciate this man and his honest prices? Because he came straight out with a 100. I don't want to talk about the fleece again, but he could have said anything. He could have said three, 400. He said 100, which is honest. Honest man. I like it. What's Leash doing here? Tell this lady, she's got a nice nose ring. Oh. Why are you pissing everyone off on the streets? I'm pissing everyone off, I'm telling you, she's got a nice nose. Oh, she didn't look very happy. I think she's asking me for food. Oh. Before I said that. Where's you got this? Out of the bin? So did you steal it off an homeless person? I jumped out the bin and put it on. <laughs> hey up, cow kiss, cow jam. Go on, ladies, blocking the traffic. Here we go, everyone. North Indian cuisine, vegetarian, pure veg. Let's do it. <laughs> Hello, how are you, sir? Smells good in here. Look at this little sink in the corner, hand wash. A little kitchen. Right, let's wash our hands. Oh yeah, Alicia's been feeding the cows. Smells spicy? No, we, we, we like spicy. Less spicy. We, no, no, we can eat very spicy, don't worry. We Medium can spicy one. No, we can eat spicy. Yes, stop. Don't, don't worry, we can eat super spicy, no problem. Don't worry, we are not, we are not um, usual foreigners. <laughs> spicy food, good. What should we get? So, we should get the near mechanic. I think I just ordered that. And then, <laughs> and then maybe, would you like a cheese? Maybe, let's have a look. So we just ordered a few dishes. I'm not quite sure what we've got, but when it comes, we'll show you. It'll be a surprise. And then, oh mate, we've been spice prejudiced for the first time in India. It hit me in the heart. Really hurt. But we told him we can eat spicy, so maybe he'll deliver on the goods. We'll see. So far, nothing in India has been very spicy. I have to say, a little bit spicy, like, but nothing's been like hot, hot. We'll see. Oh, thank you. Here we go, look at this. Cheers. Oh, what's this? Thank you, sir. Hey, let's show you what we've got. We've got a bad boy cheese paratha. Look at that. That looks bloody glorious, doesn't it? We've got a chapati, all nice and puffed up, fresh. And what is this again? I forgot the name. Paneer Makani. Paneer Makani. So, paneer cheese in this sauce, and then as you can see, that butter. So we've got coriander on the top as well. I'm guessing we just mix that butter around. But well, that, um, that is looking quite rich, isn't it? Jeez. That's a rich dish. And then we got a bit of onion, lime, and this pickled mango, lime, I don't know, we'll find out. So yeah, 
Yeah. We've got our main play, yeah. I'll set you down with swords out. What's good though? Yeah, he's bringing it out, like. And then we've got some curves coming as well. Let's get sorted then. Let's put a bit of everything on this plate. Make it look nice and presentable. Eh? Put that over there. Let's get some of the onion. What have we got? Spoon some of this on there. So this dish looks fantastic to be honest. Thank you. And here's the curd. Oh, it smells really good. Look at that. And here's the curd. Look at this. That's thick. Look at that. Wow, that's super thick. So, let's plate some up there. What's up? Paneer. Yeah. yeah, did we mix the butter in? I left a little bit in the middle. Oh, probably put flipping butter. A little bit of food, haven't I? Nice. Right. Look at that. Looks super rich. It looks really good. I think we're going to have to try the cheese paratha first, though. Which looks heavy. It's oily. It's fresh. Wow. Look at this. Very good. It is heavy. It's a little bit of cheese in there. The cheese is really good. But we need to try the actual dish. So, let's get a big piece of the paneer. It's like that. Some of the sauce as well. Oh gosh, this looks really good. There we go. Just a little bit spicy. One of these days we're going to get through to them. So you cook these fresh, like every dish is cooked fresh, every little portion, which is really good. Fresh, delicious food. So they can make it to your taste if you want it really spicy. You can tell them. That's really good, that. You get so much paneer, it's like massive chunks of paneer. The paneer is super soft, almost creamy. Mm. Then we've got our onion for a bit of freshness. Onion and lime. Let's just quickly try this. Pickled substance, which I don't know what it is. Again, that's so good. It's a bit salty actually, but a little bit goes a long way. And then we've got some curd as well. Flipping hell. It's a well good meal. Mmm, really good. It's rich though. It's really, really good. It's really rich, but like, you need that curd. The curd kind of a. Um, yeah. It's spicy, it's good, it's like rich. I'm really glad I got this, it's really delicious. Look at that. It's got a little kick to it, a little spice to it. It's very good. So, yeah, there we go, look at that. It's stopping really nicely as well. I know, that makes it a lot nicer, doesn't yeah. it? When the people are also nice. Oh, look at that. Massive chunks of paneer. Mm. Oh, it's real good. This is the combo you want, right? You get your cheese put after. Get some of that curd. Mix it with a dish. Just like that. And there you go. So good. It's really good. It looks like a small portion, but it goes a long way, believe me. Like you, can easily, you can easily share it and be full. I'm so full, yeah. Mm. The food's rich, but it's good. I'm gonna get a buttermilk, I think, for an after. It's fantastic, that was really good, really delicious. Excuse me, please can we get one buttermilk? Sorry? One buttermilk, please. One? Uh, buttermilk. 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 Yes, please, thank you. It's my accent, innit? One buttermilk. You gotta go butter. That'll be a nice treat now. A little buttermilk for the digestive system. End it off. And let me tell you, right, when I read it now, I was saying it's not very spicy. 
it was actually really spicy. When you stopped eating, it's quite hot, it's good. It was really good, sir. A little bit spicy, very good. Thank you. It was delicious. Finished? Yeah, finished, yeah. Thank you. Butter milk, no? Yes, one butter milk, yeah, please. Yeah, you can. Share us the name. Yeah, I will. We'll also subscribe. Yeah. Oh, Can I ask you what you put in the buttermilk? What is it? Uh, this is the jeera powder basically. Curd. Okay, curd. Some water. Yeah. And the jeera powder. Jeera powder? Jeera. What, what is that? Uh, how I understand jeera. I'll show you. Okay, cheers. Jeera powder. Masala. 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 Like a spice. So here is that buttermilk. You can see it looks really good. But. You can see like the the colouring in there, you know those little speckles. Let's see what is it. Oh, so this is it's like a spice. Yes. Can I smell it? Yeah, please. Oh, it's good. Yeah. It's like add some salt and some masala. A bit and of then salt they as well. We grind it. Oh. Okay. Not garam masala. No, no. <laughs> garam masala is different. Okay, okay. Different. I'm, Thank you. I'm learning. Oh. <laughs> Great. Let's try the bottom. One gobi paratha. It's stuffed for us. It smells good. One gobi paratha. Yeah. One gobi paratha. You want curd in there? I'll tell you what. Curd? It's interesting because it's super gobi. fresh. Yeah. It tastes so fresh. Oh, it tastes exactly pasta. like what you want after you've just eaten a heavy meal. Not sweet. It's just got a little bit of a salty taste to it, like a... The only thing I can compare it to is Iran, or the yoghurt drinks over in Eastern Europe. That, that way, Balkans way, but... With the, the that spice thrown in, that, what did you call that? I've forgotten the name, but yeah. You know, you don't care. Especially if you eat like a heavy meal like we just had, it's that cool. Cools you down. Cools your body down. Maybe it's good for like several weeks on it. It's good though, it's good. Yeah, it's good. Flip it, another top food review. There we go, everyone. It's flipping fantastic. Let's see, 418, right. Okay, thank you, sir. Four quid, not bad. The food that good, freshly cooked as well, like you order it, you get your portion freshly cooked how you like it. Can't go wrong with that, it's nice here as well. Nice little restaurant. This is the kitchen over here, look. Hello. I'm just looking at the kitchen. Just a nice little kitchen. Look at that. Little number. But it does the job. Right. 418. Thank you so much. Right. Have a lovely night. See you later. Let's go. Bye. Bye. So there we go. Tava, vegetarian, North Indian cuisine. Since 1988, I think he said. Guy owns that, he's an absolutely lovely chap. Fantastic. Can't go wrong with that spot. Ooh. Right, back at hotel, we'll leave this one here. I got me a banana. I've had to go and get a flipping blanket because it's so cold, it's ridiculous. But what a day we've had, Kodai Canal. Top place, quality place bit different than the Indian cities, isn't it, eh? You almost don't feel like you're in India. So, cheers for watching. See you in a bit.